Oh, look at those. Did you hear the noise? Welcome or welcome back. This is episode eight of Sailing Europe. Yeah, last time we left you in the river Rio Guadiana, the border mm -hmm. river between uh, Portugal and Spain. Yes. And uh, from there we started our passage towards the Gibraltar Strait. Hi guys. tidal races on the Cape, so we were really slow, so we decided to pull into this little bay. Have a lunch, wait it out, have a swim and just enjoy a beautiful, nice, calm day watching people enjoying life on the yeah. beach. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, it quickly took a, a yeah, little different turn. We had already seen a lot of abundant boats on the beach, which we quickly realized must have been a refugee boat, a refugee boat coming over from the near coast of Africa. Ten minutes after we we had anchored, there was already a boat uh, coming, a full speed towards the beach. Refugees, coast guard coming up there, full speed. Welcome to Europe. Don't turn around tactics here at least. Now we know that all of those boats for sure were the refugee. They are refugee boats. Well, fuck another turning. For the story, this little blue boat just came in with about, was it eight, seven, eight? At least eight, yeah. yeah. People from across and they were just greeted by police on the beach and then turned around and then they voluntarily went to the salvage boat and now also the this Coast Guard boat has shown up. So the, the boat will drift ashore and they, God who knows where they will land. But they seem very happy, just relieved yeah, they to were, make it to the other side. They had yeah. made it, this 20 nautical miles in this little plastic boat without any safety. That was our first encounter directly with the refugee crisis. Yeah. That and we knew we we knew once we approached this area that we might see some stuff related yeah. to that, but we were kind of still. But it's kind of a, shocked. It it really gets to you because mm. you are there, worrying about, I don't know things that are maybe little. You are on your big boat uh, with mm. all safety gear. You you worry maybe about the weather and about some orcas, mm. and yet these people don't have any safety equipment, they don't know how to swim, they worry about their, probably their, just their life to survive and they do this journey at night during heavy weather because they don't know how to read weather they or they don't have a chance and so many people yeah, it, don't it, make yeah. it so it's a whole other discussion. It puts our privilege into a rather harsh perspective. perspective yes. And we continued our journey. Yes. And, and beautiful sail, yeah, beautiful Morocco, two and continents, Moroccan and you, mountains. Yeah, you can beautiful. see the two continents. You start seeing all the ships on the AIS. Cape Sunio, a container ship of 330 meters, delivering its cargo to Cines in Portugal. In the background. 
some mountain. If you ever pass there, like, and there's a forecast of some wind, be careful. It funnels really strongly, and mm -hmm. uh, at some point the wind also shifts, so you might jibe or not. And uh, it gets really rough really quick. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you were like, oh, this is easy. I don't know what my dad was talking about. And all of a sudden, you were, <laughs> As quickly as it comes, it quickly goes. We went to La Linea, but the as we Spanish went in, side of the as, as we went in, you are forgetting the most important. Uh, you are in the midst of this big bay, cargo ships, mostly oil tankers and all sorts of uh, traffic. And then suddenly there were hundreds if not thousands of dolphins accompanying us into yeah. the bay that was pretty amazing yeah don't go away i'm gonna sing for you and we had a lovely welcome with the fireworks in the evening as well. Exactly. The next day we decided to go into the marina in La Linea, which it's is very lovely and quite cheap. And it was a beautiful view. I it, we, like, we had such a lovely spot. I would get out of the boat in the morning and I would just look directly at the rock. And yeah, and the, the, the clouds and passing the, in front of the rock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, you also had the airport right behind you, but there aren't that many flights, no. so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did some shopping, some laundry. We mm -hmm. went visiting uh, on the rock, so we, we went into the UK side. It's, I mean, it's yeah. a must do when you're there, I think. Yeah. The monkeys and all the history is something else. Looking for lies. <laughs> Like you and you. around and like walking up and then around I thought it was like oh it'll take us a couple of hours it took us the whole day monkey trails nature oh but lover. then we have to go here thrill seeker 
and flip to flops. Do the meditation. Yeah, the weak yeah. here got attacked and harassed by a monkey or a macaque. Even though there are plenty of signs telling you to be careful with those, don't feed them. Penelope comes out of the shop with a little yes. crunchy la, 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 and chuck the monkey. Okay, he's not telling the truth. There are monkeys there by the shop who are waiting with for you to come guns. out. And I realized that. But the thing is, this big monkey, it was not his first Huge. time eating crunchies, that's for sure, <sighs> came at me before I even left the shop. And he looked at me straight in the eye and I could tell like, I was gonna, I had to drop that crunchy or I would be in a fist fight with the monkey. And I was not gonna go there. So I did the only natural thing. I screamed and threw my crunchy away. Yeah, she threw it towards him. She didn't even hold on to it for their life. I would have because but anyway, poor monkey now has cholesterol of your crunchy. I brought my, uh, my crunchy, yeah. yeah. I was also disappointed. Well, I, I, felt really, I felt really bad because you are obviously not supposed to feed the monkeys. Um, but clearly he knew what he was doing. He knew exactly how to open it. It was not his no. first time. And, and the nice shop people, they came and apologized to me on the monkey's behalf. But they didn't give us a new <laughs> well, crunchy. It's definitely my fault. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's really worth that there are the tunnels, there are the war, the exhibitions, and it's it's quite spectacular to have a walk up there. Yeah. You ready to start a war? No, he's fine. How far can this cannon shoot? Twenty six kilometers. How far to Africa? Less. Twenty four? Twenty two? Twenty two. <laughs> After that, we we also got our vaccination, our first vaccination. Yeah, we managed to get our vaccination. Though. Thank you, Spain. So after we left the Balta, we had a lovely sail along the coast of Spain. Yeah, we did mostly long day hops because mm. there wasn't the f wasn't any, much wind anyway. Yeah, any good yeah. forecast to do longer mm. stretches. Yeah, but we had a nice time. It was finally a little less <laughs> swelly. <laughs> What you doing? What does it look like? I'm trimming the, the fence. <laughs> Attacked by the orcas. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are out of orca territory. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But Which we're celebrating with a mocktail. Mm. Yes. We are also out of wind territory, so we're drifting <laughs> all day. The wind finally picked up, and the waves came in, and that was. Mm -hmm. That was really nice in the beginning because we were surfing the waves a little bit and the dolphins, I think they were striped dolphins, they came out and they were jumping behind our boat as well, surfing the waves with us. It was just, that was so much fun. Yeah, there was uh, yeah, but nearly then, 25, 30 knots and yeah. quite the waves building up. So it was still okay, but it was not like super comfortable doing anything rather than being on in the cockpit and then suddenly we see this 
I see this white dot. Uh, yeah, I saw this the big, or oh, not big, this small plastic boat in the distance, and it was going up and down in this rather heavy seas. And I was like, no way somebody's fishing out here, so we, we have to check out what's going on. Maybe there's somebody in distress. So we adjusted a bit the course and we went close. We, we whistled, we went pretty close. There was no sign of anyone. It would have been hard to do any rescue attempt in those conditions, but we would have, of course, tried. Then decided to call the Coast Guard on Channel 16 and ask if they're aware, if they know anything. But, but they said that there were numerous rescue uh, missions so most likely the crew of it was rescued and they just let them float because there's no way of retrieving them in such wind but it's also not a great thing to hit at night so it made us a bit nervous now as we went by there was uh, also forecasted a bigger storm and we had found this lovely bay mm -hmm. which uh, was described as a very good anchorage and it has some high mountains so it uh, yeah, promised good protection and we stayed there a couple of days in quite yeah. shallow water with offshore winds sometimes gusting up to 40 knots yeah. but we also were finally able to to snorkel in warm water clear crystal clear. blue water yeah it was the first real swims in the mediterranean are you jumping in kai what do you think is it time to jump in Cartagena. Mm. We we had to replenish our stocks and we were kind of getting ready to cross to uh, Ibiza. Yeah. Ibiza. 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 Uh, there weren't very any good forecasts again so at some point we, we went off. We also it started quite well, some wind. We mm. saw this uh, big moonfish floating around. Isn't it a sunfish? Sunfish, yeah. Holy! Moonfish, sunfish. Mola mola it's called scientifically. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite big and then not very movie and it was quite nice to see one of those. And um, this is where the video stops. This is where the video stops. <laughs> Yeah, stay tuned for the next episode about how we basically cross from Spain to Greece. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Shut up. <laughs> I'm filming, babe. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you are loud. But I will put it on YouTube. I'm repelling the orcas. <laughs> you, you're definitely repelling something. <laughs> You asshole! <laughs>